Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm a registered physiotherapist. Welcome to this Qigong movement practice for strength and mobility. We'll be using calm, even breathing, flowing movement with imagery inspired by Qigong to mobilize and strengthen the whole body. This video is intended for those of you who have been practicing Qigong for a while or would like to have a bit more of a challenge with some of your strengthening moves in standing. As always, please move within your own comfort zone and take a rest as needed. We'll begin in standing. I'm choosing to be in bare feet. There is some benefit to feeling and sensing the floor. However, please use what is most comfortable for you. If you prefer footwear or shoes, please do that. We can begin by noticing the body and taking a bit of a check-in. So take a moment to land in your space, land in your room, land in your body. Feel your feet against the floor or your hips seated in your chair. Soften your gaze or close your eyes if you like and take a moment to notice any areas that feel tense or tight. Notice any areas that feel relaxed or light. Notice any areas of special concern and notice any areas that feel nothing in particular at all. Notice your overall posture and how easy is it for you to take a full breath. We'll begin by finding our breath. Bring the hands down to the low belly. Notice the warmth of your hands. Notice the tingling in your fingertips. Breathe into the warmth of your hands. Breathe into the tingling of your fingertips. Breathe out and allow the air to flow away softly and smoothly. Breathe into the warmth of your hands and tingling of your fingertips. Breathe into the depths of your belly. Breathe out and allow the air to flow away softly, smoothly and easily. Breathe into the warmth of your hands and depths of your belly. Breathe out and allow the air to flow away as if being carried off on a summer's breeze. Breathe in fully and deeply. Breathe out softly and completely. Dropping the hands down by the sides, we open the center by breathing in, growing tall, lengthening through the spine. Breathing out, Feel your feet or hips firmly planted. Breathing in, growing tall, lengthening through the spine, lifting through the chest. Breathe out to root down through the feet, hips, shoulders, shrug away from ears. Breathe in to grow tall, like the flower reaching towards the sun. Breathe out to root down, like the roots reaching towards the earth. Breathe in to grow tall, Breathe out to root down. Feel the warmth of your hands and tingling of your fingertips. We'll begin with our opening exercise, breathing into circle and breathing out, drawing your hands down through your body center. Follow your own breath here, breathe into circle. Feel the warmth of your hands, tingling of your fingertips, gathering energy from around you. Breathe out, draw your hands down through your body center, palms facing you. Imagine showering yourself with that energy. Breathing into circle, making the movement as much or as little as you'd like it to be. Breathe out, draw in through your body center. Imagine gathering the energy towards your hands and showering yourself with that energy. See it dripping down your body and pooling in your feet. Breathing into circle, out to draw inward. Good job. One more time. Hands land in the center for our accordion breath. Breathe in, stretch one arm up and the other arm down. Imagine opening the folds of an accordion. Breathe out, drawing the hands back to the center. Breathe in, move in the other way, one arm up and the other arm down. Breathe out, coming back to the center. 
Follow your own breath here and make this movement your own. Adding on any extra little movement that you feel is right for you. Maybe a stretch or a reach like you've woken up from a good night's sleep. Or keeping the movement a little bit small, not passing the shoulder or the hip. Good job. Breathing in, stretching open, lengthening. And breathing out, drawing inward. One more time. Going into spinal cord breathing. Breathing in, opening up through the shoulders, the chest arching through the back. Breathing out to round, forearms come together. Same option in sitting if you need a rest from standing. Breathing in, arching back. Breathing out, rounding forward. If you don't want to use the arms, simply keep them on your lap, lifting your chest as you breathe in and slouching as you breathe out. Find a spinal movement that is agreeable to you. Know that any movement you bring into this area will bring in fresh circulation to nourish the muscles and lubrication around the joints. Imagine your spine moving very fluidly and freely within your own comfort zone. Notice how the spine helps to pump air in and out of your lungs like the old fashioned pump handle on a well. Breathing in, lifting the pump handle fills and breathing out, lowering the pump handle and expels. Using this gentle, flowing, free movement of your spine to pump air in and out of your lungs with full cleansing breaths. Good job. One more time. Returning to our center, we move into wave, rise and fall. Bringing your feet a little bit wider with toes out turned. Breathing in, imagine the ocean wave as it rises, breathing out as it falls. If you're sitting, you can sit tall and slouch and you can begin to use the hands to trace the ocean wave. If you like, you can add the legs. Breathing in as the wave rises and breathing out as the wave falls. Breathing in as the wave rises, breathing out as the wave falls. Smooth, even, continuous, natural, beautiful movement. Bring that image, that sensation into your body and into your breath. Soft wrists, soft knees, soft breath. If you've been practicing for a while and you found this is a place of comfort, and if you'd like, you can challenge yourself with making your wave a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Reaching your arms, coming up on your toes, or sinking down a little bit lower. Your choice. Rowing your wave to a tidal wave. And when you're ready, return to a gentle ripple that feels comfortable and safe. Breathing in as the wave rises, breathing out as the wave falls. In as the wave rises, and out as it falls. Good job. One more time. Moving in to push the wave, one foot forward, one foot back, the back foot's on a slight angle. Breathe in, draw the wave towards you, up the beach. Breathe out, push it away, out past the horizon, out past the sunset. Breathe in, draw the wave towards you. Breathe out, push it away. Soft, even breath flowing movement. If you're in standing, then you can rock heel to toe, lifting up the front toe, lifting up the back heel. If you've been practicing for a while and you have a place of comfort and you'd like to challenge yourself, you could even do a little bit of a lift. Breathing in, shifting back, breathing out, shifting forward and then returning to your place of safety and comfort. 
See the white foamy bubbles as the wave comes up the beach as far as it can reach, push it out as far as it can go out past the horizon, out past the sunset. Breathing in, shifting back, breathing out, shifting forward. Hearing the sound of the ocean and the sound of your breath. Good job. One more time. And then we'll move on. Shifting to the other side. Breathe in, shifting back. The wave comes up the beach as far as it can reach. Breathe out, it pushes out past the ocean. See the wave as it rolls up the white sandy beach. Push it out past the sunset. See the sun glittering off the water. Find your image and use that to help you drive the movement. Feet can stay planted or rocking heel toe. Find a place of comfort and safety. Whenever you like, you can challenge yourself and then come back to that place of comfort and safety. Breathing in, shifting back, breathing out, shifting forward. Good job. One more time. Coming to the center. In standing, we keep our feet wider. Shifting from foot to foot, toes are out turned, knee tracks over the toes. Breathing in and out. Finding our cloudy hands. Breathing in and out as the hand sweeps across. Soft hands, soft breath, soft legs. Imagine a clear blue sky and the white floaty clouds are just moving across in front of you. You can go a little bit smoother faster or you can turn your hand to face you and slow it down if you prefer. Good job. We'll change our hands now to pushing the stone where we push out as though to say stop. And the opposite hand, palm turns up, elbow draws close to you. You may feel it feels good to push across the body, drawing your elbow in as though you're pulling back on the bow and arrow, breathing in and out to each side. Good job. This turning feels good to you. You can let the arms flow free and sweep around so that they tap on the low back. Knocking on the doors of life here, a little bit of a gentle tap around the kidneys. You can shift through the hips if you like, but if you're more comfortable to turn, you can pivot through the leg, lifting up onto the toe. Just letting your arms twirl and whirl around with a gentle tap, bringing in lots of activity through our torso and digestive system. Breathing in and out, letting that breath and movement flow through you. Take a rest at any time. Now what we'll do is flow through those last three movements. We're going to do four repetitions each and six rounds. In three, two, one. Cloudy hands for one, two, three, four. Push the stone for one, two, three, four. And knocking for one, two, three, four. Cloudy hands. Push the stone. And knocking. Cloudy hands. Push the stone. And knocking.
Bow your hands. Push the stone. And knocking. Two more rounds on your own. Last time. Stay here with your knocking. We're going to be practicing some stepping responses. This is where we shift into a little bit of strength, power, balance. We'll be stepping to the side in three, two, one step together. 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 Carry on and if you need a challenge, you can step or try to balance. If you do try to balance, then make sure you have something nearby to grab. Good job, one more time on each side. Perfect. Now what we're gonna be doing is practicing our stepping forward. We're gonna be doing um, uh, six on each leg. Breathe in, step forward, and breathe out, step back. You can do the same leg or alternate. Breathe in, step forward, breathe out, step back. Breathe in, step forward, land on your knee, breathe out, push back, there's power there. Breathe in, step forward, breathe out, step back. The bigger step you take forward, the lower you go, the harder it is. This is dynamic balance. Good job. We've got three more on each side, turning to the side so you can see. Breathe in, step forward, breathe out, step back. I have a wall beside me. Make sure that you always are safe. We also breathe out as we step back because that helps us to engage our core and generate some power through our body and legs. Good job, breathe in, step forward, breathe out, step back. Breathe in, step forward, breathe out, step back. Last time. Perfect. Now our heart rates are up. This is getting an aerobic effect. If you feel like you're at your limit, you want to sit and rest, by all means do that, have a sip of water. The grand finale is our fireworks exercise. Breathe in, scoop forward, arms cross as you breathe out, stand up and arms explode overhead. Imagine a colorful umbrella of fireworks raining down around you. Breathe in, scoop forward, arms cross, arms reach up overhead and then float down. Imagine that colorful umbrella of fireworks raining down around you. Good job, halfway there. Breathe in, scoop forward, maybe imagine gathering leaves in the height of autumn. Breathe out, throw them overhead, see them coming down in slow motion and hear laughter and joy. One more time. Arms float down to your sides. Our heart rate is a little bit high now, we wanna cool it off. Breathe in, circle around. Breathe out, take a long, slow, smooth exhale. Breathing in, circling around. Breathing out, a long, slow, smooth exhale, calming everything down. In the circle and out, nice and slow. Feeling our heart calm down feeling ourselves relax after all of our effort. One more time.
Hands land on the low belly. We move into bamboo in the wind. Imagine standing in a grassy field, maybe a golden wheat field in the height of autumn. The wind blows through the field. Allow yourself to blow with it. Shifting from this way and that way, side to side, circles in no particular order. You can feel the sun on your face, the warmth on your shoulders. Hear the rustling of the wheat as the wind blows through. Allow yourself to sway in that golden grassy field. Shifting this way and that way. Letting the wind, the breath flow through you. Good job. Coming to stillness, letting hands drop down by the sides. Coming back to the place we started, a place of noticing. Noticing your feet on the floor, your hips in your chair. Noticing any areas that feel tense or tight. Notice any areas that feel relaxed or light. Noticing any areas of special concern and noticing any areas that feel nothing in particular at all. Noticing your breath and how easy is it for you to take a full breath. My hope for you is that you feel the breath is flowing better now, that more muscles are relaxed and any areas of concern are no more concerning than when you started. If that's not the case for you, then just take stock and maybe modify your exercises or take more breaks next time. Thanks for joining me.